So let's say we want to use the Thrash Tones template with photographs. So the first thing we want to do is let's open up our Layers panel, Window, Layers, and you'll see two layers that are labeled blue. And what we want to do is let's turn off the visibility of both of those layers, and you'll also see a red layer, and it's called Photo Mode. So we want to use this template in Photo Mode. And if you expand that layer group, you'll see there's a Levels Adjustment, hue saturation, and there's also a photo of some palm trees in there. So let's get our own photo. And here I have a photo of some VW buses. So let's go Command A, Command C, or Control C if you're on a PC. And then let's go back into this layer group and let's highlight this layer with the palm trees and just turn off the visibility. And now we can paste in our VW bus image. The first thing you may want to do is adjust your level. So just double click on this little icon right here. That'll bring up your properties and you can move these sliders to adjust the lightness and darkness of your image. And the next thing you're going to want to do is choose a halftone pattern. Oh, and before that, let me change the halftone color to black. Or if you wanted to change it to red, you could do that. Maybe I'll just leave it there. And we may want to choose a different halftone pattern. So let's go in here and turn off the distressed dots. And we'll choose another one called uneven dots. There's also angle lines, thick dots, ripple lines, wavy lines. That one looks pretty cool. And here we have those novelty ones I showed you in the other video. I like this wavy lines one. Now let's also adjust the scale so we can adjust the scale of this halftone pattern. So we can make it really big. We can make it really small. You know, I think that actually looks pretty cool. And the thing with this template is we want to get this art back out of here because you don't really want to save, you know, a big gigabyte file when you don't need to. So let's change our halftone color back to black and let's get our marquee tool and just kind of select everything that has halftone pattern in it and let's do a command shift c or control shift c if you're on a pc and we're going to create a new document in photoshop and it'll default to whatever the size you marqueed um, this was a 4000 by 3000 pixel image we could just click create and then go command v to paste it in now there's a few things we could do here if we just want to leave it a 4000 pixel wide image we can do that um, we can also go into our channels and we can command or control click on that top rgb channel and turn off the visibility of that top layer and let's make a new layer and then select inverse and then go edit fill. And then we could fill that with any color and click okay. And if you want to keep your image in Photoshop, that's how you use it. If you want to bring it into Illustrator, I would suggest going back to that black image and let's just go ahead and flatten everything. Layer flatten image click OK. And if we want to get really tricky, let's go to image, image size, and let's make this thing really big. So 12,000 pixels wide. And you'll start to notice those pixels that are really small in that 4,000 pixel wide image are getting kind of big now. So we need to smooth everything out a, bit, a little bit. So let's go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I found that about a three pixel blur works really well. Click OK and go Image, Adjustments, Threshold. And just click OK. And you'll see how that smoothed everything back out. So there's our bitmap image. We could save this. Oh, the other thing we want to do, let's make it a bitmap image actually. Go Image Mode, Grayscale. It's no longer a RGB file. And then go Image Mode, Bitmap. Click OK, and we'll save that to our desktop. We'll call it 
VW bus dot PSD. You can also save it as a bitmap TIFF. Either one will work. And then now if we go into Illustrator, let's make a new document, click create, and then we can go file place. And let's place that VW bus bitmap in here. And now it's a nice transparent bitmap image that we can assign color to. And just to show you, I'll put block of yellow behind it. And that's a really nice way to use photos in Illustrator.